Hey guys, this is Christine, your relationship and mindset master doctor and your leverage for change. Today I'll be discussing what it, how to recognize emotional abuse. Uh, these are the signs there. I'm, I'm going to go over about six signs that you can see in the person that um, is emotionally abusing you and you may not really recognize it at first you may just think that you, you may just know that you feel really bad when you're with them and sometimes if you're not careful you don't understand why that is so <clears throat> the the first sign i'm going to speak of is verbal abuse which is probably the most used uh somebody who verb i'm going to be looking at my notes guys because um i'm not going to remember all of this so um, when I look down, you'll know that mm, I'm looking at my notes. So verbal abuse is usually when somebody's yelling at you or they're, they're loud, they're abusive with their with the words that they use. They, the words that they use basically tear you down, not build you up, right? And um, this, um, th this can be done, this verbal abuse can be done in the privacy of your home or it can be in public. And um, this, um, they use really, this person will use really harsh words to demean you, to make you feel less than, and, um, and, and, and sometimes to frighten you. All right, the other one is like, uh, the other way to, to really notice uh, that this person is using that on you, emotional abuse, is to frequently ignore you. So this is what they call the silent treatment. They do this and then they, they it, is, it is a very manipulative type of behavior. They do this so that they can get a rise out of you, if you know what I mean. And then you, um, you know, end up being questioning, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? So now they turn the focus off of themselves as a person, the perpetrator, and make you now start questioning yourself that, you know, I want, what did I do? So this, this silent treatment is meant to make you believe that you're the one at fault, right? Um, this may even prompt you to apologize to them, even though they're the one that's wrong, because you just um, feel so uncomfortable with this uh, silent treatment that you will go and apologize just for, to keep the peace. Uh, the next thing is that, in, it's, that's similar to that one, is that they isolate you. But in terms of isolation, they isolate you from your friends. They, they isolate you from your family members so that they can have you all to themselves so they can do what they need to do, that emotional abuse thing. And um, it makes they make it seem as if they're protecting you from others who may hurt you. And so they now have the ability to... Um, and, and it may make it seem as if... They want you all to themselves. So now you feel so good because this person wants me all to themselves. And so they're, you know, if you're not careful, you will start believing that this person really loves me so much. They're protecting me from all these friends that might hurt me. These are your friends, guys, by the way, and your family. But this is um, another way that the, someone will emotionally abuse you by isolating you. Um, they may even make verbal threats, uh, you know, and... Um, of abandon of abandonment sorry they may you know threaten to leave you or threaten to blackmail you for something that was was a secret between both of you something private they may threaten to blackmail you with some information that you have set, told them uh, they may physically they may threaten to physically harm you as well and um, then they will also play the vict they will also do this by playing the victim and um, they will tell you that you'll never find anyone as good as they are to love you or somebody who loves you like they do. So that's another way they kind of guilt, guilt, guilt trip you. I'm tripping over my tongue. Guilt trip you, right? Um, and even they, some will even threaten suicide. So um, those are the three. And they're, they're, another one is um, they will force you to do things that you don't want to do by threatening negative consequences if you don't do it right and um, this is very manip manipulative behavior the other thing they will do is to exploit you by ignoring your boundaries you know you say um, 
you won't allow certain things, but they always pushing those boundaries, pushing those boundaries. And it can be missed in early in the relationship, guys, in the dating relationship, because these bound when they exploit your boundaries, it just gets bigger and bigger. They will start with something really small and that you think is just, you know, something small. But then as the relationship progresses, it will get bigger and bigger and bigger. So uh, pay attention to that. So um, these are some of the signs that you should look for <clears throat> when you're dating. And, you know, um, unfortunately, if it reaches the stage that you're married, then you have to look out, these, look, out, look out for these signs of emotional abuse so you can protect yourself against them. All right, guys, so this is Christine, your relationship and mindset master doctor and your leverage for change. Take care and have a great day. Guys, please like. Uh, subscribe to my channel, share my videos so I can keep putting out uh, content there that I, I believe that will be helpful to you. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.